lightning blows hole in church and knocks the cross off. God, if you love me, give me a sign. Oh, oh, he has oh, given us a sign. Oh. Fuck about it, Hi, this is Karen Smith. It's 68 degrees, and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. Lightning blows hole in church and knocks the cross off. It's just a natural disaster. That was very unfortunate and luckily it didn't hit anyone. When I saw this, I imaged that Hellraiser scene of when Pinhead's in the, in the church is like, ah. Oh. Come on, come on! <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, and it's like every time like, I think of like something like this happens, like lightning hitting a church and that, and then like lighting the cross on fire. It's always to do with like the movie or a scene that's like with apocalypse, like end of the world scenario. So it's like shit. But it's only because of the hot weather we've been having here in England. That's all it is. Uh, hot weather leads to thunderstorms. That's just how nature is and how, how how the weather works make a hole in the church look at that hole <laughs> damn and such a little there's so many trees and that around it like uh, normally lightning would hit now it just goes now nah, fuck you church <laughs> that's a grudge against you mate <laughs> a church was struck by lightning which set a huge hole in the wall and the cross and a cross strewed on the ground you might have imaged of dark horror films and evil portents but in truth it was the weather breaking yesterday Bring in large electro electro electronical storms to parts of the UK that hadn't seen rain in some time. Yeah, for most it was a relief to see some rain after after weeks of dry weather, and the farmers must have been celebrating. <laughs> I'm just going around and going, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> 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 it's rain <random> man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's been very hot though. It's like the summer hasn't even started yet and we're getting these heat waves in England and it's like fuck. It's like it isn't that hot, like nice hot you get when you go to another country. It's humid hot, so it's sticky and it's like Ugh. <laughs> As you know, I'm a winter guy. I love winter more than I do the summer. I can't do as much in the summer. I get too over overheated. And I'm just like, oh, I can't be asked. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, you know, one thing I will admit though is the thunderstorms that we get. Um, oh, I love them, but they're not as great as any. Oh, as some ones I've seen online, like from other countries. <laughs> However, for the con uh, congregation at the Henborn Chapel in Rio, um, Denbinshire, Denbinshire. The storm has some serious consequences. It was struck by a bolt of lightning that did some serious damage, blowing out the window, leaving a significant hole in the small building and knocking down a big cross that had previously been atop the church roof. I was wondering what... There must have been something there. I'm guessing... Well, I'm guessing the cross was metal. But shot met... So light, like the metal cross probably attracted the lightning. But somehow it hit there. There's no scorch marks. Like, that's so weird, like, it's just gone there, and that's now, as a whole. In the aftermath, rubble was left more than 40 metres away from the freak weather uh, incident. The 120-year-old building was struck at around 7.30pm on Saturday, 
evening as a heavy downpour on the electrical storm got started. Luckily there was no one in the building at the time and no one was hurt. <laughs> Photographs Brad uh, Beazel was quickly on the, on hand to check what happened, having seen a flash not far from his house. My eyes! He said the, the storm had been ramping up for some time, with around 45 minutes of thunder as the weather um, deteriorated. From uh, their mountainside home, they could see what ha was happening outside. The next thing was a massive flash about at about the same height as we were. It was the same height as the trees on the side of the mountain, Brad told BBC. That was scary. The, uh, there was a big bang. The lightning took out the power of his house, as well as cracking, uh, crackling around the entire uh, valley, setting uh, setting nearby car alarms off. By the time Brad and his son had drove down to the church, the fire crews were already there. I blame Shazam. Shazam! <laughs> Shazam is in that village hiding somewhere, isn't he? He's there and he's had to turn into it and accidentally did it outside of church. In a statement, North Wales Fire Service confirmed that the method Methodist Chapel was hit, damaging the roof, creating a hole in the side of a building. Uh, now they've cornered it off and issued a warning to the public as the building may be unsafe. That's ah, fine. Be fine. <laughs> the spokesperson said crews gained access quickly and cordoned off the area due to structure damage. If you live in um, your own area, please be aware. Just don't go to the church. Or don't put metal objects that are conductors on top of your buildings. <laughs> I know that we don't get this type of weather all the time, but that's all you have to do. Strangely, there's some other bit of weird news actually today. Yeah, a woman shot by lightning in front of her child can now sense when storms are coming. Does anyone else think of this woman from, I think, Four Year Old Virgin? Hi, this is Karen Smith. It's 68 degrees and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. <laughs> That's what we want to think. Oh, I can sense when the rain was about to rain. <laughs> she should be hired by, they should have hired her because she would be able to sense it. Okay, everyone, that was today's weird news. I don't think I need to tell tell you guys, but, um, yeah. Don't hold metal rods up high when there's a thunderstorm. He has given us a sign! <laughs> Maybe change the materials of what we use for maybe a cross. Because things like this won't happen. <laughs> and people won't freak out thinking it's a sign of God. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe out there. Ciao.